Hey guys, this is Paul, and uh, today I'd like to share with you um, something I've been thinking about. It's um, the media media events. Uh, this is not something that does exist. It's just something I've been thinking about, uh, especially because um, I use an online music player. Let me give you more details. So, so what is your uh, music player? Uh, if it's like me, you know, if you're like me, you, you, if you use like Last FM or this other kind of online music player, you probably miss uh, the the media uh, the, the media keys um, interaction. I want to be able to use my keyboard and switch to the next sound, for example, right? And this is not something possible today, so that's why I would like to uh, introduce this idea, the media event that fixed two big problems for me, the multi multimedia keys and the feedback thing. What is the feedback problem? The feedback problem is there's some sound from my browser and I don't know which tab is generating this sound. So uh, these media events are supposed to fix those two problems. So this is how it works. Uh, to resume uh, an event, uh, just like any other event, you know, you, you're going to press um, one of these keys, uh, like Reviews, next, post, play, blah, 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 blah. And you receive this kind of event. It's a media event uh, coming with uh, the data property. Of, yeah, I, I don't think data is good. I don't know. Uh, just an idea. And then you can do, you know, whatever you want. Um, so, uh, and, and the thing also is that um, this kind of events can't be just um, like key press events. Because it has to work in the background tab, uh, if your tab is in the background, or um, if you if the user is using another application and press this kind of multimedia keys, you still want to issue this event, right? So uh, I wrote a little demo. Um, so because I, I wrote some some code to 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 to, to, to you know to write a little prototype. Um, so here you know this web page with you this kind of events you can see. Me playing with the keys here. Okay, um, this is the idea. Okay, quite straightforward, right? Uh, but I was talking about feedback, so this is different. So this time, um, I want uh, I want the web page to be able to fire uh, a media event uh, uh, coming with uh, the data property as well, uh, which is going to be sound or no sound. Again, the name is not perfect. If you have a better idea, let me know. Um, and if the, if the web page fires such an event, then Firefox is going to do something. And let me show you. If you press sound, you see here, next to the tab icon, you have the little icon coming, saying that there's sound from this tab. Uh, and if there's no sound from your application, then just fire the no sound application, and then you, the, the icon disappears. So, of course, when you think about this, uh, you want to see it in action where it's like a real player and I've been playing with Groovesharp. So uh, let me add some music to this Groovesharp uh, player. So first thing, look at the fab icon here. I'm going to press play. You see the icon, okay? Only if I play music, right? Um, also, the media keys events works as well. And of course you see the icon. And the important thing is this is working if this tab go to the background. And this is the most important thing. If I press play, Okay, you got it. So, uh, and also it's working if you don't use the Firefox, if you use another application in the meantime. Okay, so um, I need some feedback um, about, do you think it makes sense? Um, do you think the idea is good? Um, what do you think about uh, the name of the events? And what if there's like 
three application that use this kind of events. It doesn't work, right? So uh, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Thank you.